Masih cool. <laughs> Halo mahasiswa mahasiswi farmasi di Indonesia terutama di Fakultas Farmasi Widya Mandala Surabaya Hai saya Dewi hari ini saya ditemanin oleh Karen Karen adalah seorang mahasiswa farmasi di Taiwan yang studi saat ini sedang studi di National Yang Ming Chaotung University Karen akan berbagi mengenai farmasi education yang sedang ditempuhnya saat ini di Fakultas Farmasi Nasional Yang Ming Chaotung University. Let's check this one out. Okay. Hello Indonesia Pharmacy students, I'm Karen Chen and I'm studying NYCU Pharmacy right now. Yeah, and I am a, I'm a third year. I'm I'm studying third years right now. Yeah. Cool. I heard in Taiwan there are three types of Uh, pharmacy educational systems. I really want to know what is the difference. Okay, and then in Taiwan we have like four year, five years, and six oh. years, uh, six years si uh, educational system in pharmacies and apply by different different schools. And in Yangming campus we have six years educational system. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I don't think there's too too many difference between us because we all we all need to take the same test, and we need all need to we all need, we all get the same license. Yeah, we all get the same license. Um, but I think in like in Yangming in six years six year systems, we will have more more course more um, more lectures about clinical pharmacy. A clinical pharmacies, so and we may have more opportunities to go to a different place, different workplace to have internship. Internship, yes. Okay. Yes, I may have trained, but um, at first I want to be a clinical pharmacist, but um, I heard that I heard from our professor. Um, professor says that. And in Taiwan, there are not too many vacancies for uh, the clinical pharmacies. Mm -hmm. So I may go to industries in the future. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, in the in our first years and second year, we all study like um, basic object like um, biology and chemistry like that. And in the third year, and it's my grade, so we need to study like more professional subject, like um, pharmaceutical chemistry, um, pharmacology, like that. And um, in the um, in the third grade, in the next semester, we will take the first first test to get a pharmacist license. And to me, it's in the next semester. Yeah, in the fourth year. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the third year, the end of the third year. Okay. Mm. Wow, <laughs> you must be so busy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so busy right now <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. really nervous about it. <laughs> mm, the second one will be uh, when we are graduate. Uh, in Yangming, we'll be we'll take it on our sixth year. Six year. The end of the sixth year. Yeah, the end of the sixth year. Okay. Wow, it's interesting. So first, uh, the first exam is uh, we all think it's more difficult <laughs> because we will test, uh, we'll uh, they will test like um, a professional subject. Okay. Yeah, professional subject. Um, but the second test is much easier. It's much easier. More practical. Um, no, it's. Uh, yeah, um, it's, it has like um, laws, like farmer, pharmacy, pharmacist affairs laws. Oh, mm, it's law, so we need to, we just need to remember it, and we can get a license. But we need to pass the, fir the first test, then we can go to the second test. Yes. Average grade is 
over 60, 60 then you can pass the test. <laughs> so Indonesia pharmacy students, if you have chance, I hope you can come to Taiwan. We are really welcome to you. Thank you very much, Karen. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>